Today we're taking a look at the Plum Ram 9, the latest KaiOS device that is rugged. Let's get started. If you're new to the channel, my name is Jose, and here we talk about digital minimalism, review dumb phones, and everything in between. So if that's something that interests you, make sure to subscribe. Again, we're taking a look at the Plum Ram 9. This is a KaiOS device, a rugged KaiOS device, available internationally and also for the United States. The main compatibility is on the United States, but it will be compatible outside of the United States as well. If you're looking for a dumb phone, make sure to check out my website, josebriones.org slash dumb phones, and you can find the dumb phone finder right there and sort through features and everything else. But besides that, let's get to the review of the Plum Ram 9. There's not a lot to say on the software side of things, just because this runs KaiOS, and it actually runs KaiOS 2.5.1, which is different than 2.5.4, which is what the Nokia 6300 4G and the Nokia 8000 bring. I say this because it is a big difference between 2.5.1 and 2.5.4. 2.5.4 has a couple of extra features that the Plum lacks, and this is where I am going to have a difficult time recommending this device. The device is $75, so for a rugged device, it's very good. It brings a front-facing camera and also a back-facing camera. So if this device were to get updated to 2.5.4, then it will be excellent because you'll be able to make video calls in the future whenever they enable that feature on WhatsApp. But as of right now, only the 6300 4G and the Nokia 8000 are able to get calls on WhatsApp. That is with the 2.5.4 update of KaiOS. So that is something to keep in mind. Call quality is very good and texting is also very good, but because it is stuck on 2.5.1, Group messaging still has that bug where if you don't send a picture or if you don't send a multimedia file within your group text message, it will send it to every sender individually instead of a full-blown group text message. So that is a little bit of a bummer. The 2.5.4 version also has that issue, so it's not something that has been corrected on KaiOS yet. But WhatsApp works well, group messaging on WhatsApp works well. The only thing is that the 6300 4G has calls, whereas the Plum Ram 9 does not have phone calls on WhatsApp, which is a little bit of a detriment. But the organization is a little bit better. It brings less bloatware than the Nokia 6300 4G or other KaiOS devices. So that is something that is welcome. It uses a MediaTek processor, which is easier to hack through banana hackers. So if you're aware of the community in KaiOS, MediaTek devices are a little bit easier to hack. But of course, it depends on the community and what they are able to do. So again, the device is very good when it comes to the durability aspect. It also has a big battery at 1700 milliamps. It doesn't sound so big compared to other smartphones, but for what KaiOS draws power, this has no issue getting three, four, five days of lasting on standby or if you just want to use it for an extended period of time. So you're not going to be charging this device every night. And it does have a lot of ports and they are very well sealed. Again, here, when you go to reveal it, you have a micro USB, a little bit of a bummer, but you also have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. They include a very nice set of headphones, by the way, it's not the most advanced, but it's very comfortable to use. And of course they give you the charger and the charging box and everything else. So the device is very durable. You're able to drop it. I am not a fan of the clickiness of the keypad. It is not amazing. It's not terrible, but it's not amazing. I'm going to put it to the microphone here so that you can hear it just a little bit. I find it a little bit annoying, but you may find it comfortable. If you want good feedback or like, hey, I click this key, then it might be something that you enjoy. So I'm going to put it here and listen. So that is the feedback right there on the um, Plum Ram, Plum Ram 9. This is the feedback on the Nokia 6300 4G. So one of them is louder than the other for sure. So if you enjoy that loud, clicky feedback, feedback then Ram 9 may be for you. If you have a rugged device or if you work in an environment that you need a rugged device, this may be the device for you. But if you need something more simple, something that works better and is faster, 
then the Nokia 6300 is a better option overall. Honestly, for $69 is about the same price, $75, $69. I will go with this one any day right now. Both of them have dual SIM capabilities and both of them have SD capabilities. So they're pretty evenly matched on this camp. I just like that. I just like my phone calls via WhatsApp on the Nokia 6300 4G. So that is something that I personally enjoy that I did not like that this was stuck on 2.5.1 version of KaiOS. Um, again, there's nothing else much to say. The phone works reliably, AT&T, T-Mobile networks. It does not work on Verizon. Whereas the 6300 at least gets phone calls on Verizon. And if you try enough, you get to send a couple of text messages if you're in a lucky area. But again, the Plum Ram 9 is a good offering from this company. I had not heard of them a lot, but I'm discovering more companies and I'll be bringing you more content to the channel. So if you have any questions about the Plum Ram 9, make sure to put them in the comments below. And if you have anything else about any other dumb phone, make sure to put them as well in there. I always interact with you guys. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure to share it if you know of someone that needs it. And of course, uh, check out all of the other content that I have in the channel. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.